So in this video, we want to find um, we want to find the biggest possible rectangle that we can put inside of an ellipse. So we'll just draw that here. We have an ellipse, and now we have a rectangle, and we'll just draw just to draw a coordinate axis through here again, just to stay on top of things. Um, this is x. Uh, that was y. All right, and again, uh, this is similar to the x uh, to the square and the circle one. This is x. This length here. This length here is y. Uh, so the area of the rectangle, the area is equal to the length times uh, the width, which is equal to um, the area is equal to two x, two x times. 2y, or that's all equal to 4xy. And uh, the other thing that we know is that uh, the area of an ellipse has the formula that is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. But we're just doing this for uh, just a general, a general ellipse and a rectangle with, we're not actually uh, taking one of the specific x and y values, which is the general one. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate one of these variables. Right now we have two unknowns, and we want to just get it down into terms of one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of all the y's. So the way we do that is we can rearrange the formula starting with um, starting like this. Here, let's put it in blue. So we get, we can write it like this, y squared over b squared is equal to 1 minus x squared over a squared. All right, we're just starting to shift this around a little bit. Uh, now this will also be equal to uh, a squared minus x squared. Oops. a squared minus x squared over a squared. And we'll keep going. We can write this as y squared is equal to b squared times a squared minus x squared. Um, this is all over a squared. And then finally we can say y is equal to uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared times a squared minus x squared all over a squared. But again, uh, same thing that happened in the square and the circle video. Um, we're not going to get a negative area for this. This is just, uh, that doesn't make any sense. So we're just going to cross out that negative. So this will be positive. So now we can we, uh, we can rewrite our, our area equation for the rectangle as this. We can substitute in this new value instead of the y. So we will get um, the area. This is the area of uh, rectangle is still equal to 4x, but instead of y, now we have uh, we have this. It's times b. Uh, we can just take the b squared and take it out as just a single b um, times a squared minus x squared. Let's fill that in, uh, and this is all over a. Now, if we actually just rearrange this a little bit, we can put this. Let's put this over a, and then when we go to uh, differentiate this in the next step, this will be our u, and this will be our v. And same thing, we will do the product rule. So we'll have u prime v plus u v prime. So we'll go ahead and differentiate this and set it over, uh, set it equal to zero. We'll start over here, and we'll get dA dx is going to be equal to Let's see, 4b over a times uh, the square root of a squared minus x squared. And then this is going to be plus 4bx over a times, uh, this will be over root a squared minus x squared and x squared. And we'll have a negative x on top. And we can write this as, again, we can just keep reducing to 4b over a times a squared minus 
x squared minus 4b um, x squared over a times a square uh, sorry a times the square root of a squared minus x squared right and this is all equal to zero so with that let's underline this part this is the part that we're going to be working with now let's just solve for x and then once we get x we can solve for y and then we can just keep going from there so first of all we're going to have um, 4bx squared over um, a times root a squared minus x squared it's going to be equal to 4b over a time over a times the root of a squared minus x squared a squared minus x squared so we'll multiply both sides by a and we'll divide both sides by 4b and we'll just keep going so we'll get it will look like this it'll be a times 4b x squared over um, a times root a squared minus x squared times 4b and this is going to be equal to root a squared minus x squared so the a's cancel out uh, the four b's cancel out and we're going to multiply now both sides by root a squared um, root a squared minus x squared so we'll just bring that over here and we'll be able to square that which will give us x squared as equal to a squared minus x squared sorry that's an equal sign and then we'll have I'll just keep going. This is 2x will be equal to 2x squared, sorry, will be equal to a squared, and x will be equal to a over root 2. So that's there we have x. Now we're just going to plug this in to uh to our value for y, which we got up here. And so we'll just start writing that here. Um we can stay in black. So we have y is equal to what was it? It was b times root of a squared minus x squared all over a. Now, y was equal to, uh, we're going to substitute in our x here. So it's b times root a squared minus uh, a over root 2. Or it was, actually we skipped a step over here. Um, this was equal to a squared over 2. And in this step, actually, you'll see that might be easier to work with. Uh, so we're going to minus a squared over 2. And this is still all divided by a. Okay, so the next step that we take is y is equal to b times the square root of, and we get a squared over a squared over 2 which is over a, right? Because a squared minus a squared over two is just a squared over two. So then we can go and rearrange this still further and we get this would be y is equal to b times a over root two uh, divided by a, which is the same as saying y is equal to um, b a over root two times a, and we can cancel out the a's and we get y is equal to b over root 2. So now we have x and y, and what we want to do is we want to go back and put those into our original equation. So we'll just switch colors here, and we have the original equation was a is equal to 4xy. This is for the area of the rectangle that we're looking for initially. Uh, now if we just substitute in our x and our y values, we'll say a is equal to 4 times a over root 2 times b over root 2. So we have a over root 2 times b over root 2, which will be equal to, um, this is 4 times a times b, uh, this is over 2 as an equal sign, and we get, those cancel out, we have 2. So the area of the rectangle that we were looking for, the maximum area of the rectangle, is equal to 2ab. And the a and b weren't given to us in this equation. This is just the general form. 
um, but that is the maximum area of a rectangle that can be enclosed within an ellipse.